I swear I think he's hiding in these rocks somewhere. Came up here to the back side. I was right over the top of the mountain for the last three days. First day in the middle, second day I was down south. Yesterday I was right, I mean right there on the north end. Today I'm gonna ride right up to the top of that big saddle. I got the ladies today. Oh Jazz, and Lori, and Sheila Puppy, P and Sissy and Clara and Baby Iris. I'm riding Big Agnes. These things might look a little silly, but I mean, you should see the scars and, and marks I have on the bottom of my, from my shin down from riding that mule through brush. These things really save my legs. Pancho Villa chaps, they call them. And I could wear whole chaps, but these things, they don't get that hot and they're easy to hike in. Here we go. I've never been up here before. It's all new to me. That saddle's right over there. Kind of anxious to see if I get a bark or if I can find a scrape or something in there. Well, there's a gate, too. I'm doing much good. Where I was yesterday, roll back off over in here. And then day before that, I rode back around. And then the first day, I rode these hills right there. They skipped on down and went down there. I can't, couldn't tell which dog it was that barked down there. I think it was Sissy. That's Jazz right there. And there's a lot of deer sign, a lot of cows in here too. There's P over there. I can't find a track. I thought I seen a track over there. Going, see if I'm going the right way. Yeah, so she's got it right there. I don't know where Sissy went to. I think Jazz is right right there. Sissy's casting out around 
looking for where it went. Might be too old. Oh, there's Sissy right there. Sit down and just build a cup of coffee. I had like three clips here where my GoPro quit recording sound. But the hounds trailed down off the side of this hill, down into this canyon, down into some rock piles. I finally got down there with them. And then when I got down there, I went ahead and, and uh, I went live on YouTube. So here's, here's the next clip before that and then the live on YouTube. I just went live a minute ago and I'll start it right now. We're live. I didn't know I had good enough signal here. I know I said I'd get a video out every Friday, but I've been out trailing for four days now. But you can see right over there. I don't think I'm gonna be back in time. It's 2.20 right now. I got a video about three quarters edited. I just hate that I said I was gonna get them all out by 4.30 on Friday and now I'm not. I've been out all week. I do think I'm getting close to him though. Oh, sissy girl. That's P. That's Jazz. That's P. Iris is even over there and Sheila's over there. And Clara's over there. I just thought that lion might be in these bluffs right here. There they, there they go. There's Sheila's squeal. Uh-oh, they're hung up. Look at that jazz got through. It's good stuff, guys. Agnes is about wore out. Oh, Iris is trying. She's the puppy. <laughs> She's stuck. Well, there she goes. Anyway, I got to work my way around there. This is a lot better country than I've been hunting. That desert is what I've been hunting, but this is a big old mountain here in the middle of it. There goes a stinking helicopter ruining my wilderness experience. Yeah, there they go. What's this? He doing way over here. Oh, she couldn't, she couldn't get up, big old fat thing. This is good. I love to watch those dogs trail. I'm gonna have to work my way around, guys. I'm gonna have to go up, across through there, and get back up in that country right there. Go up over the top, I imagine. Unless that lion's up with bluff somewhere. Sheila's scream just sounds terrible, but I tell you what it does, it gets the young dogs real excited and makes them want to go to her. <laughs> sounds like somebody's stepping on her foot. All right, so this is my video for Friday night. So, I'll get, an, I'll get one edited and put out here pretty soon. Probably tomorrow. If I don't catch this lion though, I'll be back out here tomorrow. So maybe not here, probably about two miles south of here. They're still going. I gotta go guys. Thank you. This live thing's amazing that you can do this on your telephone while you're out here in the middle of nowhere. You're back. I came on across. I was right over there on those rocks during the live. Dogs were hung up in here and they're still hung up. Some of them went back. They can't trail that thing out of here. And I'm kind of wondering if it's because they got on the sunny side of the slope over there and there's not as much scent. They're still trying, they just can't find it. I can't get my mule through, I don't think, over there. I gotta go over there and look. So, I'm gonna walk back to where they had it last time over there and see if I can help them move them on. Because I think they, I think well, I got one dog going backtracking a little bit. I don't have much time. It's 20 minutes till three. And uh, I don't want to be up here. I don't want to try to find my way out of here after dark. So I'm going to go help them try to find it over here, pick it up. I'm just going to leave her right there. She enjoys standing still. She's tired. I 
swear I think he's hiding in these rocks somewhere. Unless those dogs were right and he doubled back, came up in here, made a little loop and went back. Cause they were trying to trail back out that way and I thought they were on the back track. Whew. Yeah, she went back over there, look at that. I'm gonna let her go. She's no dumb dog, I mean. She's the one that opens her pin to get back in it when I tell her to. There goes P too. I gotta work my way back to the mule, then I am gonna go back around where I was. <laughs> he was in there. I don't know if we had, you know, shoot. And I could have swore that line was in those bluffs. I looked in every nook and cranny and hole up there. Nothing, moved the dogs around, never could get a bark. I mean, other than when they went back and they started back, what I thought was backtracking, but who knows? I mean, who knows? I just know they were trailing a lion and they trailed it quite a ways. I mean, not, not a long, long way. Let's go down here, Agnes. Anyway, we got a long ride back to the truck. I say long, it ain't that far. Kind of hard. I'm just two years shy of 60 years old. I can't even believe it when I say it. It doesn't sound right. I don't feel that old. I feel like I'm just getting started. <laughs> All right, here we go.